<laughs> Alright guys, here we're going to talk about Season 3, Episode 10 of The Twilight Zone. The minute this started, from the thumbnail, I was like, it's the one where they're, they're getting closer to the sun, but then she yeah. freaks out and she's getting farther from the sun. I love this one. I, I knew this was one um, of the few that you had uh, deep memories about. I've, I might have mentioned this in, the, in like the past. You have. Yeah. I like this one. I, I like it. Um, it's a fine episode, but I like uh, remembering too much about it, it lost its fun twist. Um, oh, yeah. I, I, I do, I do think there's some irrational character behaviors that, that you know, I guess all things have. Um, but that guy that breaks in. So, so hmm. it, just to set up a story, it is uh, they're in the far-flung future where the sun is, is drifting away from the, the world. Yeah, yeah. And uh, things are rare, like water and stuff. They only have a few weeks before everyone dies. But yeah, people are some sort of f- like... I've all fled the city to get to it's a It's the post-apocalyptic area. panic type thing happening where, like, no water, no gas, fleeing the city, all that stuff. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so when someone breaks into their house uh, and, and just, like, spoils all their water. Yeah, like, pours it on his head. Like, guzzles it, like, dumps off. it on his head, and then with still, like, half the jar, smashes it against the floor. Yeah, I didn't know how much was left or why he did that. Even if there was nothing left, that yeah. container is one, seemingly her only container to hold water, or else why would she, uh, you know... I don't understand what she had a vase yeah. at one point with dead flowers in it. I don't know why that wasn't full of water, because she said they're only going to turn the water on for an hour a day. Sure, sure, and sure. And if the water's on for an hour, why aren't you filling tubs? Why isn't the sink itself full? Why is not every receptacle you have... On. Yeah, yeah. You have the bonus of being in an empty apartment building. You could be filling from every tap for that one hour. Yes, there's stuff like and that. Did going not on. use that at all. Right. Yes. Very weird. Yeah. No. This is. Re- it's not really about the real thing. It's about uh, half know, the fun for the. It's like a dream. For any in, scenarios in any way, like this whatever, yeah. are are for me to think about how you would game the situation and uh, what yes. would I do. And it just it it annoyed me that this person did so little with what they had. Sure. I don't want really to look at that stuff. Uh, I like the performances. The music in this was cool. Mm-hmm. There's some interesting stuff. I like that it turns into, you know, turns out to be like a dream, even though I, no, I, I knew cool. that was coming and all that. And it's it's a nice twist. Um, uh, I hated the older woman. Oh yeah. Uh, and not necessarily her performance, but like you know the whole the whole uh, thing that makes up her character. I didn't like her abusing the woman's art. I didn't like her like, can we have the grapefruit juice now? And then like pours it to her. You know what? I can't have it, bitch. I just opened it. You better fucking drink it. Like, come on. Just, she seemed like a very annoying person, oh, yeah, and yeah. I took it as she was, like, the landlord. Yeah, yeah, I think she's the landlord. I don't know if it's, like, a, she says, like, now it's just you and me, like, the whole building is empty or something, yeah. right? Like, it's the whole thing. And right? maybe she's not the landlord, maybe I'm reading yeah. in too much, but that's what I, I, I how I took it. Or a kooky neighbor, because I don't know where, yeah. the, where the landlord is if it's not her. Hmm. I kind of assume she was sort of the landlady, whatever. Yeah, I don't like her because she couldn't help herself. Oh, well, I mean, that happens. I don't like characters, that. people, things happen like that. But if you are someone who is dependent upon others, and, and this, I guess, does, is is true to life. It seems like yeah. those who are dependent upon others also demand the most and 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 contribute the least. So, like, not yeah. only is she asking for things, um, but but like making her life harder and and like, you know, ruining her apartment and her, her yeah, paintings, she, uh, letting in a burglar. She lets the guy in, right? Yeah, yeah it was a whole thing. Um, I was just gonna say, she dies, right? Is that what happens? I wrote that down. Uh, Mrs. Bronson dies. Paintings melt. Thermometers mm-hmm. explodes. The lady screams. It was all a dream. Yeah, that's the notes. Yeah, uh, I do think that it's it's very like so like in this scenario where the sun uh, is too close, they yeah. don't ever give a timeline like we're gonna be dead in this amount of time. It's it's just something right. that kind of sucks. Uh, but when you get to the real world where it's actually cold, they say like the scientists don't say we only have X amount. Like that would be the most nightmarish thing. You only have yeah. so many days left. Before just Earth is just a frozen ball of Earth nothing. There's nowhere to go. Yeah. And during that whole time, you were just this uncomfortable, cold, you know, scrounging. Getting colder every day. Yeah. Yeah, I think you could like go underground or something, or I don't know if there's a way to make heat. Like fuel would run out, but it's a whole thing. And it can be, it can take as long as it needs to take for the story, because it's just like the Earth. Like, sure. I like that too. That there was no like, oh, we did this to ourselves. The mankind is its own worst enemy, and we yeah. set off too many bombs, and we knocked the Earth off of its orbit. Like, it was just like, ah, oh, we don't know. Something happened. We're getting farther or closer away. Right. Yeah. The whole thing. I was like, oh, cool. It's just just like imagine that thing. though. It starts drifting. Yeah. yeah. What do you do? This, I guess. Die. Die. Yeah. No, I really enjoy this. I would like them to make this into like a whole movie and all that stuff, because you could, yeah, you could like, uh, you could not know what's going on for a while. It could just seem like summer in some vague apocalypse. You could have weird things happening. And Wait, with the ending version or the beginning version? Uh, either one. Okay. But well, like th- you know, this whole thing, you could have the whole twist at the end okay. too, or you could just do the whole thing or whatever, because we don't really like. 
this had that cool feel of like it's just this woman from her apartment in that point of view. Mm-hmm. You don't get any weird, you know, for obvious reasons here, but in general, like I like that feeling of not like they don't really know how you know how it works. People on the radio are, are you know kind of going crazy too. It's yeah. this panicky thing, but you're like right there, mm-hmm. and it's hot, and you can get all these scenes of like hotness and color because <laughs> it's not black and white like this. And then yeah, someone showing up and like wait, is you know is someone up there? What's going on? Could be this like huge thing. Instead of just, um, you know. There's a, a movie with, um, what's Cowboy Curtis's name? Morpheus. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne uh, is in this movie where, like, the earth is super cold. I like Cowboy Curtis as your go-to on that. Yeah, yeah. So he is. Um, the, the world's super cold, and, yeah. it, and it's them, like, like, trying to get, you know, through this. And, and like, there's a there's yeah. seed suppository areas. Like, like what, are they, not seed, what are they called? Seed banks or whatever they are. Yeah. And they're, like trying to get to one of those and there's areas that might not be frozen and it was, it was yeah. a cool but there's also people that have gone like crazy and are like cannibalistic and are right but like are seemingly immune to the cold like they're just out there fucking hunting when, people when is this movie from how old is this movie three four years maybe oh it's, i think it's called it's, the colony but i could be wrong. oh it's a recent movie yeah oh, i thought you were talking about some like hidden gem from no, no, well it's still kind of a hidden gem it came out on the it's same time that, like snow piercer came out where okay. i was like i was like ah these indie movies are fucking dope Every, everything's cold now yeah yeah no i like uh i would like a thing where it's not like a gigantic thing where you see cg things crumbling and all this thing with charts and graphs mm-hmm. and you see all this stuff i i i love the idea of just a, like a, like a handful of characters and not knowing what's going on and there's no crazy action scene and like dumb thing happening it's just like a real thing there there was action but it happens. didn't feel like crazy yeah. it felt like a mix of uh, like like the world from day after tomorrow with almost yeah. like the rain of fire type buildings where like it's like we must survive uh, uh, yeah like, yeah it was, Rain of, it was good. Rain of Fire is like an action movie, but it's closer to that. I think I've seen too much of stuff where too much stuff is known or too it goes on for too long, like Walking Dead or something, mm-hmm. where there's so much happening. Like, wait, what, what, and all that stuff. So I'm intrigued by the whole thing. And, like, in, in like the longer movie version, you wouldn't even know that it's just getting hotter every day. They, they would just say, I'm fleeing to Toronto. You might see, like, a road where, like, both lanes are, are like, you know, everyone's going in one direction on, uh-huh. the, on, like, both sides of the road, and it's packed and all that stuff, and then just a subtle thing of, like, that's north or something from here or whatever, hmm. little things like that, and then you'd be like, oh, shit, it's, like, a real thing happening or whatever. Yeah, I'd be down. Hmm. This episode was good. It's it's one of the, the classic episodes I'd say of the Twilight Zone. Oh, good, okay. I this think, is one I that I remember. I think a lot of people remember this one. Interesting. I like when that happens because I only remember whatever I happened to like when I was, you know, like whatever, mm-hmm. like a kid watching them and stuff like that. So sometimes uh, it's like, I remember this and it sucks or whatever. And sometimes I'm like, I think this might be one of the best episodes ever. But we've I don't seen, know if, uh, I don't know if it's yeah. like one of the best, but it, I think it's certainly one of the, like those memorable episodes. It's got the twist. Like, that cause I think the twist is actually at like, yeah, you're like, yeah. Oh, didn't see that. That's the actual opposite of what I thought was happening. Yeah. So that's a decent twist. I wonder, too, if it would ever be bright all day. Like, if the sun's moving farther away, it makes sense that it would get slowly darker because there's less sun happening uh-huh. or whatever. But, like, the sun is big, but I think once you were close enough to the sun to even light behind you or whatever, you'd be cooked, like, long since whatever. Did it say it was 24 days? He makes a note about that, I think. Says something. <laughs> well, I would take it as, like, the, the day might be, like, if you're like you know, if you're like in Alaska and you have like the all day like almost yeah thing, yeah like you might you might get these long ass days with it being closer or if if our orbit is fucked period maybe just half of us are getting cooked all the time or something yeah maybe only where they are is all the time yeah. and it's cold on the other side that's a whole other you know angle for the whole thing where there's mm. no I don't believe that side. to be true though but yeah hmm. I I would wait well, so the sun getting closer would would make for longer days. I don't know, because the, so. the Earth still spins at the same rate, and like the you know the nighttime is caused by us not facing it. So I feel like it would just be the same. I'm not an astrophysicist. Well, either way, the sun being closer would make it hotter. Yeah. Um, but it didn't even so seem like, like it was that hot. They were like, it's 110. I'm like, it gets that anyway. I'm I like, know, I know. I thought th- I I thought the same thing too. But that was the thing is I didn't know if they ever showed it really at night. And he makes a comment that I thought did not mean that it was day all the time where he said even at midnight it's high noon or whatever. And I'm like, okay, just like how hot it is. But then later mm-hmm. someone makes a comment where I thought they were actually literally the sun's always up or something. I was like, oh, wait a minute. I don't know. I didn't catch but, that uh, part, but it, I believe it. This is a darling quaint time where the sun <laughs> distance was just, uh, it makes sense. It's fine. Colder, warmer, mm-hmm. we got this. Yeah. 
I, I, do, I would like to know a little bit more about, I want the temperature to be a little higher. I thought the 110, even if you made that, that temperature inside or something, that's still not Right, so the thermometer's accurate. outside you see later on. Yeah. Or, yeah. Because it definitely gets that hot. Maybe, maybe we're already living in this world. It's already yeah. happening. Because we, you know, oh, 100 in the summer is not uncommon. Yeah. And there are parts of the world where 110 is not super crazy either. Exactly. So the idea that, that that's what's ending the world... Yeah, I wonder. So there was a lot. I, I kind of like the impending thing of like um, the forecast for tomorrow. Hotter, hotter still. Always hotter. Oh, we're dying or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And then and that's the whole thing. But yeah, when like when like the power goes out or the AC goes off, she's like, well, if it doesn't turn back on, we'll just roast in here. We'll die or whatever. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, there's parts of the world that don't have air conditioning. They're this hot. Yes. Every summer, you should be fine. I don't know. Yeah, a little whiny. There's places you could hide where it's colder. There's stuff you could do, I think. Yeah, why aren't they in the basement of the building? Things. Like, there's the only ones there. Exactly. It's an interesting thing. That's what I mean. Like, I, I, I like the concept enough that I would like it explored. And, uh, and what part of, like, even if every day was 110, would yeah. make it so there's no water and there's no electricity. No, like, I know. Exactly. Like, that's not how life should work. 100%. That's what I mean. So, like, in my version or in, like, the real version, whatever, whatever you want to call it, like, every night there's night and it's hot, but it gets colder at night and it's, like, better. And then the next day you have to worry But think more, about it this way, too, is that if, if 98% of the city has fled... Should there not be enough power for everybody all the time? Yeah, exactly. I don't understand what is the power. It oh yeah, yeah, no, issue. I have no like. I I'm assuming that they're implying that it's the air conditioners or something. I have no idea why the power is a problem or the I water is a problem. Doesn't really make sense. Water is so hot. Just got to drink all the water. Just keep drinking. Like uh, you're throwing on my face. Yeah. <sighs> no. So yeah, there there are some flaws, but it's a pretty good yeah. episode. Um, yeah, it feels good. The performances are good. It like feels like a. I remember watching it being like, this is good. Like like this, the the filmmaker y things are good. The angle, you know, how stuff goes together, how the story unfolds, the pacing of it. Some of these feel like they're taking hours. Some of them feel like we barely got started. There's nothing happening here. Yeah. It's not a decent thing. Did you think it was weird that that, that high, guy high who broke in broke in through the ceiling? Like he came yeah. in through the roof. At, came, did you lock the roof door? And she's like, no. oh, oh, gee willikers, maybe not. Like he, he's he's jumping from rooftops to rooftops, but. Like, and why can't just break in the window of the front door? And why is she going, uh, you know, uh, you know, up to the roof anyway? Do you even have locked it or not? What's up there? She was putting an SOS on the ceiling. Solar panels? Yeah. Pla? It says pla on the roof. You know. All right, guys. So that's this episode. Less than the comments below what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. Hello, internets. I just love watching Just Taggers. If you've enjoyed this video as much as I have, click that subscribe button. Peace out, homies.